Hello everyone. It is very striking to know that even in this 21st century of clean energy, coal plays a very vital part in our life. We all must have heard about coal mines, but have we ever wondered what precedes a coal mine? It's the concept of exploration which helps us determine the economic viability of the coals that we get beneath the surface of the earth. In this video, we are going to talk about the different steps involved in coal exploration. So, let's go into the coal. So, it is a bright sunny morning and we are heading towards our destination. Our destination are the dwelling rigs. Now, the rigs are planned and placed at certain geographical locations in such a way to prove the evidence of the coal seams. Now here we can see a drilling rig. Now it is undergoing its operation and it is drilling deep through the earth. The pits adjoining the drilling rigs are very important and the dug even before the drilling commences. These pits consist of drilling fluids. Now take a look at the drilling barrels. These barrels are used to recover the cores. The cores are recovered from the barrels in this way. The recovered cores are arranged and kept in a specified way in the core boxes. As you can see, the core boxes has got some tags with the respective depths at which the cores are found. It helps the geologists to log the borehole data accordingly. These core boxes display coal seams which are of jet black color and sandstone which are whitish in color and if you go for shell or sandy shell they are a bit grayish in color. Here we shall talk about the most important part in coal exploration. It is logging. In logging what we do is that we describe the lithology, the structures that we encounter in the boreholes with their respective depths. Parameters to describe in lithology is to define the mineral constituents in it, the color and the texture. The coal beds are generally associated with shell, sandstone or intercalations of shell and sandstone. The next important parameter is the specific gravity because as the carbon content in the coal increases, the specific gravity decreases. Next comes the streak color. Now, how is streak color important? In case of coal exploration, the shell will give a light gray color, whereas a carbonaceous shell will give a very dark gray color. After this, we will have to closely examine the cores whether there are any fractures or not. Now these fractures are a close indicator of faults. Now that we have all the details, that is the mineral constituents, the color, the texture, we can basically describe the cores with respect to all those parameters. For example, a typical lithology would sound like this. White to gray fine grain sandstone with coal streaks at the bottom and also fractured at the top. As I discussed about the process of logging, we can here observe the geologist after careful examination of the cores is writing down the borehole data. Now this will help us decipher the arrangement of rock strata and the coal beds below the surface of the earth. The logging data consists of different columns. The first column comes under the run that is from and to which depth the data is being locked which will give us the thickness. There will always be some loss in course so the roll recovery 
is noted that is the total recovery and then the individual extrapolated thickness the individual recovery as well as the individual lithology along with the structures now that the logging is done we will now head back to our base camp where the coals are safely stored and will be sampled and sent to the labs for analysis uh, life of a geologist may be hard but it is a feel good feeling to be away from the hustles and bustles of the city and making our ways through the greeneries Oh-ho, a bumpy ride ahead! <laughs> These are the parts of being on site. After visual analysis and borehole closure, the coal cores are now packed very carefully with respect to the coal seams as marked by the geologist while logging. It is then sent to the laboratories for chemical analysis where ash and moisture content are quantified and the grade of the coal seams are determined. This in future will help in mine planning. Now to conclude with all the reports will be assembled to generate a geological report. Now this geological report will consist of the geological successions, the number of coal seams encountered their quality and arrangement in space, the groundwater studies, etc, etc. All these will be followed by a mine plan where there will be feasibility studies. If economically viable, it will lead to an open cast or an underground coal mine. Oh, my God.